Uh, the Needham Science Center is at the heart and soul of what we're trying to do with elementary science education. The Science Center has been a great resource for me to go to them. This is the idea I have, and then they help me make it happen. Every once in a while, I will run into a Needham Public School student who now wants to become a science teacher because of the Needham Science Center. I remember reading a report from two professors from MIT, and they pointed out that one of the most exciting experiences they had was to watch what was happening in this Needham Science Center. It interfaces science for the entire community, not just the schools. If there are some things that have been started in the Science Center that have been circulated throughout the world. We're very lucky. Most school systems do not have a special group like that. The Needham Science Center got started actually thanks to Sputnik. The Russians had just launched Sputnik and it made America feel very inferior in science. And they were wondering what we were doing in our schools. And Needham at that time had a very forward-thinking superintendent of schools, Bill Powers. And Bill was at a meeting at the Museum of Science in Boston and got to talking with Norman Harris who was the director of education at the museum. He said to him, let's have a conversation. How can we make opportunities more available to our students uh, than we already have? Well, it ended up with Norm taking a sabbatical leave from the Museum of Science, and that was in 1964. So Norm opened up and he brought a science educator with him named Bob Stanhope. And the two of them opened up the Needham Science Center with a part-time secretary. And, and uh, as I remember vividly that, that first day in September when I arrived to see what the Needham Science Center was all about, I walked into a room that had a live woodchuck and a very large big snake, which Norm had, had brought. After my second year, Norm Harris said to me, John, I have some very exciting news. Larry White will be joining us here. And I couldn't believe it. Because as a youngster uh, on Saturdays attending the Museum of Science, Larry White was the instructor that taught all the Science Explorer classes. And those of us that were interested in science thought he was the god of science. And Larry was very excited to be here. And the two of them just did all sorts of things to get children and teachers excited. The towns around began to ask, what's this in the Needham Science Center? It's so exciting. And so they started running little courses for other towns around as well. Almost 70% of the Needham elementary students at that time said that science was either their favorite or their second favorite subject. And we felt that was pretty good. Norm Harris, in 1978, retired. They needed someone to take his place. At that time, I was in the Newton Science Center. They came to me and said, would you like to take Norm's job? It turned out that it was absolutely the perfect partnership because, yes, he was the director. Yes, I was the assistant director, but we were partners. Working with um, Larry White and Dan DeWolf was an Every day was an adventure. <laughs> it was an unbelievably phenomenal learning experience for me. You know, really, I think that they've been incredibly important to me. Through all the years we were there, we had a secretary. We had an aide. These people played a tremendous part in what was happening. They were fantastic. They were part of a team. Larry retired, um, and then I stayed on to help train another person. Ann Schloeder joined me in 1985 and she became the director of, uh, of the Needham Science Center. What we really worry about is when unnatural materials find their way into the storm drain. <laughs> we started off with mostly large group programs, auditorium programs. That's what they've done at the museum. And as the enrollment declined a bit, so did the number of elementary schools, and the need for large auditorium programs began to diminish. And so we changed. 
And we gradually, over the years, were able to do fewer and fewer auditorium programs because it became harder and harder to get the entire school or an entire grade together. And the Science Center came up with Idea Factory kits that helped teachers in just about any area you could think of in teaching science. Money was such an important and limiting factor. To really make a successful effort in science uh, education, you're going to have to be willing to support it and at the same time make hard judgments about what you can afford or not afford. It was certainly a program that the, uh, the, the community tried to support through an override um, that was unsuccessful, but the community rallied in any event and raised the funds for one year. I came in right after they had raised the money and saved the facility and um, I think that was really a wonderful thing the community did to come together to save this jewel. It became clear to me that it, it was no longer appropriate to just do the same thing with our Science Center. Um, instead, we really wanted to reinvent the Science Center. And it is exactly the perfect job for me. It has the components of teaching and working with children and teachers that I love and the curriculum development. And then it has the managing of the Science Center, which is new for me. And so it's kind of fun and exciting. And so what we've been able to do uh, over the last couple of years is leverage the resources and the leadership in the Science Center to really become a uh, significant and integral part of our science education. There's still creatures that are, are fine with that. So when you get to the microscope, put whatever it is that you want to look at right down here over the light on the stage. <laughs> now that we need to be more aligned with the state frameworks, um, the Science Center has shifted to be more of a curriculum-based center and is using very specific materials to enhance the frameworks and the standards that we're supposed to be teaching. If you can do it, it shoots back in. So tell me what it is. FLOSS program is a program that Mary found um, and it's all science based and their philosophy is inquiry where children just investigate and then talk about what they have learned. So what's happening to the air? The air is The air is slowly leaking out. There's kind of a marriage between the new direction and the new curriculums in, the, in science for kindergarten through grade five and the old mission of the Science Center, which was to reach and support. I love this program because you give children something and then they run with it. And they experiment and they talk with one another. We try to get the kids just to notice things. And I think if they notice things and they document it and they, they draw what they're seeing or we t discuss it and we share our knowledge, it's going to be like putting pennies in the bank. You know, they're kind of adding it all up and they're, they're learning. This is a big model of a lima bean seed. <laughs> it's just letting the kids discover and using their schema and think about what they know and correlate it to what we're doing at hand. So that's what Science Inquiry is all about. I cannot say enough to say how supportive they are. They've been just an asset, just in training us, supporting us, modeling lessons, providing supplies. They're just great. Science is really fun, especially when we get to do fun projects like the Rube Goldberg project. It's probably my favorite subject. Um, I just like doing all the experiments and it's really fun and I like doing the hands-on stuff. We're so grateful to have these knowledgeable minds at work. Science would not be the same without them. I hope it continues well, well, a long time from now. And today. Years and years, because I see a need for it in the schools. I just smile and marvel at what they do and, and how they have done it. I owe where I am today to the Needham Science Center. I would never have dreamt of a job as perfect for me as working at the Science Center. I hope it's here forever. <laughs> I wish the Needham Science Center a very happy 45th anniversary and I'm delighted to be at the head of the helm as we go through the rest of our adventure. Happy anniversary Needham Science Center! And to the Science Center and the Needham Public Schools, happy 45. Happy 45!
Yeah.